The Psalms, Psalm 26, a Psalm of David. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Examine me, O Lord, and try me. Test my mind and my heart, for your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful men, nor will I go with pretenders. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I shall wash my hands in innocence, and I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I may proclaim with a voice of thanksgiving and declare all your wonders. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not take my soul away along with sinners, nor my life with the men of bloodshed in whose hands is a wicked scheme, and whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I shall walk in my integrity. Redeem me, and be gracious to me. My foot stands on a level place. In the congregations I shall bless the Lord. Psalm 27, the Psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? When evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war arise against me, in spite of this I shall be confident. One thing I have asked from the Lord that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to meditate in His temple. For in the day of trouble He will conceal me in His tabernacle. In the secret place of His tent He will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me, and I will offer in His tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, and be gracious to me, and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, O Lord, I shall seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me, nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a level path because of my foes. Do not deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord." Psalm 28, a psalm of David. To you, O Lord, I call my rock. Do not be deaf to me, for if you are silent to me, I will become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked and with those who work iniquity, who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. Requite them according to their work and according to the evil of their practices. Requite them according to the deeds of their hands. Repay them their recompense. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord nor the deeds of His hands, He will tear them down and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because He has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart exults, and with my song I shall thank him. The Lord is their strength, and he is a saving defense to his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd also, and carry them forever. Psalm 29, a psalm of David. Ascribe to the Lord, O sons of the mighty, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to His name. Worship the Lord in holy array. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf. 
and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord hews out flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer to calve and strips the forest bare. And in his temple everything says, Glory. The Lord sat as king at the flood. Yes, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 30, a psalm, a song at the dedication of the house, a psalm of David. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You have kept me alive, that I would not go down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his godly ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. Now as for me, I said in my prosperity, I will never be moved. O Lord, by your favor you have made my mountain to stand strong. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I called, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned from me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and girded me with gladness, that my soul may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Psalm 31, for the choir director, a psalm of David. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me quickly. Be to me a rock of strength, a stronghold to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake you will lead me and guide me. You will pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have ransomed me, O Lord, God of truth. I hate those who regard vain idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your loving kindness, because you have seen my affliction, you have known the troubles of my soul, and you have not given me over into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large place. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress." My eye is wasted away from grief, my soul and my body also. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing. My strength has failed because of my iniquity and my body has wasted away. Because of all my adversaries I have become a reproach, especially to my neighbors and an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many, terror is on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they schemed to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant. Save me in your loving kindness. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, for I call upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in Sheol. Let the lying lips be mute, which speak arrogantly against the righteous with pride and contempt. How great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you have wrought for those who take refuge in you before the sons of men. You hide them in the secret place of your presence from the conspiracies of man. You keep them secretly in a shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord. For he has made marvelous his loving kindness to me in a besieged city. As for me, I said in my alarm, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. O oh, love the Lord, all you his godly ones. The Lord preserves the faithful and fully recompenses the proud doer. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. Mm -hmm. 